Okay, in this part we are going to be wiring all the stuff that we made the expression for earlier. Okay, so go ahead and go into your wire tools and use your wire advance tool or your wire tool. I usually use the wire tool. Make sure that your uh, wire width is set to zero so it doesn't show up. Because it looks stupid if it shows up. Then just go ahead and wire the W value of the uh, expression to the uh, W of the advanced pod controller. You should already know how to do this. I expect you've wired something before. And just wire WASD Why? to the ADB pod controller, and then shift to the uh, pod controller, which is like WASD, and then go all the way through to shift. And then uh, wire. Uh, Wire, wire up to a uh, previous weapon, because when you scroll up, you go to your previous weapon. And then wire down to next weapon. Okay. And then we wire active to the active output of the advanced pod controller, which is the last one. I have the thing memorized, so I can do it really fast, but this would be helpful with the advanced wiring, because it's easier to find these. Anyway, now we're done with all the, uh, all the inputs for the thing, and then let's go ahead and wire the left hydraulics that we made before to the left value of the, uh, expression, and then the right hydraulics on the right side to the right value of the expression. And then we'll wire the uh, back hydraulics to the back value that we made before. Just like left click, then right click to switch the values, and left click, and it's weird, and then wire the thruster to the thruster value we made before. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab a screen. I'm going to grab the, grab the small default screen. I'm going to uncheck only one value and then name it trim. We're just going to add a little screen to give us a heads up on what our trim setting is. So we don't have to debug it every time. I'll just take it and flatten it to the axis. And then I'll, um, then I'm going to pull out my uh, no collide tool, right click it to no collide it to everything. And then I'm going to physical property it so that it doesn't, it's weightless, so I'll take off the gravity effect on it. And then I'm just going to put it down into the plane. This is why I had not only one value. We're not going to see the other value, but it looks better this way than to have that big thing on the front of the plane. And I'll just weld it, weld it to the fuselage, and then I think I weld it to the wings too. Now I'm going to wire the A value of that back to the trim output that we made before in the expression, which will output trim into the screen. Okay. Now that we're done with that, um, let's just go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and test the uh, all the control surfaces for you to show you that they work. I'm using my advanced duplicator like before. Okay, now I'm just unfreezing it and just kind of putting it down for uh, what I'm going to do next. And then we can see that all the, can, I'm just going to put a camera here so that we can see from third person that all the, uh, all the hydraulics and stuff are working out right. You'll want to do this too, just to make sure. My preview is going crazy right now, so I, but you don't really need commentary on this anyway. The back is moving up and down and then the left and right ailerons are moving the way they're supposed to be. Just make sure everything's working all right. And then your plane should work all right. Doesn't matter if it's not perfect when it's sitting still because they'll move more than you think they do while they're, uh, while you're flying. Like they might hang a little bit, but they won't when you're flying. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. The next, I mean, not this tutorial, but this part of the tutorial. The next one, there's just a couple caveats, and then we can test out the plane.